Praise God. You are welcome to another wonderful edition of the Word of Grace. Today is 25th of December 2021. And I pray that God Almighty that has brought you into this season will season your life with grace in the name of Jesus. I pray over your life that God that miraculously brought the birth of Jesus Christ into reality will deliver every miracle into your life in the name of Jesus. I pray over your life the power behind the prophecy that brought the prophecy of hundreds of years concerning the birth of Jesus into reality. We bring every of your prophecy into reality in the mighty name of Jesus. That thing that you have been waiting for for long, I speak over your life in the name of Jesus. It shall be delivered unto you in Jesus' name. You are blessed and favored in the mighty name of Jesus, God Almighty. We celebrate for you this Christmas in another wonderful way in the name of Jesus. I want to say Merry Christmas to every of my listeners and God Almighty will be with you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I believe that you have been having a wonderful time celebrating this Christmas. I only want to say make sure you celebrate it in the reality of what Christ represents. We don't always come on Saturday but I decided to make this special broadcast for every one of my listeners and I want us just have a quick reading from the scripture in the book of Romans chapter 14 and I read verse 5 and 6. He said, One man estimate one day above another. Another estimate every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regarded the day regarded it unto the Lord. And he that regarded not the day to the Lord, he does not regard it. He that eateth to the Lord, he eateth, for he giveth thanks to God. He that eateth not to the Lord, he eateth not, and give God thanks. Praise God. This scripture is one of the scriptures that laid to rest the kind of arguments that happened few years that happened some times ago concerning whether Christmas should be celebrated or not. Concerning whether Jesus was born on 25th of December or not. And it's important that we need to clear it that we are not celebrating the bad day of Jesus because the exact day that Jesus was born was not known by the scripture but we are celebrating that jesus was battered you cannot pick what day you want to celebrate it and if you choose not to celebrate it just make sure that the reality of his coming he has been confirmed in your life what is the reality of his coming the reality of his coming was that the bible says that the virgin mary shall give birth and when you bring forth a sound he said they shall call his name jesus because he will save his people from their sin so the reality of the purpose of coming of Jesus is to take away your sin. And the question is, has your sin been taken away by you giving your life to Jesus Christ and then his blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary will be applied upon your life and make you as white as snow. If that has happened in your life, I congratulate you. And I say, Merry Christmas in a special way to you. Because after you have celebrated it on this earth, you will still also have a hope to celebrate in heaven at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Praise God. I need to bring to light that the Bible says, those who are celebrating the birth of Jesus should not look down on people that are not celebrating. And those who are not celebrating should not look down on people that are celebrating. The Bible says whatever we do, he that esteem a day. For example, somebody says that January 1st is a special day. Another person says, well, January 1st and January 2nd, the same presence of God is always there with us. The Bible says either you are going to celebrate it or you will not celebrate it. Let Christ be the center of it. Once Jesus is the center of everything, Either you celebrate it or you do not celebrate it. The Bible says then God is glorified in the midst of it. So if you are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, let Christ be the center of the reason and the purpose of your celebration. And if you are not celebrating it, don't look down on people that are not ce- that are celebrating because either you esteem a day higher or you esteem all the days alike. The Bible says, let every one of us do it unto the Lord. And whichever way you stand, let the name of the Lord be glorified in your life. But the thing that I need to drop for you 
is that as the reality of the purpose of the coming of Jesus Christ be established in your life. Are you born again? Have you given your life to Christ? If Jesus Christ comes now and the trumpet sound, will you meet him in the sky? And that is the most important thing in your life. If you have not given your life to Christ, then it's important you need to do so. And God Almighty will be with you. All you have to do is recognize yourself as a sinner, kneel down before him, and ask him wherever you are, Jesus, enter into my life and be the savior of my soul and the Lord over my life. And from today, I will follow you and give me your Holy Spirit. Once you pray that prayer, you are good to go. You are born again. You have given your life to Christ. And I pray God Almighty will be with you in the name of Jesus. As you go this day, 25th of December, I pray over your life. You are covered in Jesus' name. The purpose of the reality of this Christmas, let it be fulfilled in your life and families in Jesus' name. Whatever be the consequence or the calamity that sin has brought against your life and the family, by the power of the blood of Jesus, let the sin be let that sin be wiped away in Jesus' name, and the consequence of sins be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft, every witchcraft attack against you, I bind and I rebuke in the name of the Lord Jesus. I bring life, I bring glory, I bring anointing and power of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. Everything you needed, may the hand of the Lord bring the supernatural provision to you in Jesus' name. It is well with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. I believe that the broadcast of today has really blessed your life. God Almighty will be with you in Jesus' name. And you can continue sharing it. And then if you have any comment to share, you can send message to us through the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. I want to say once again, Merry Christmas to all my listeners and God be with you in Jesus' name. Till I see you on Monday on another edition of the Word of Grace. Keep on enjoying the grace of God. God be with you. Amazing grace is the sweetest sound